This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. We're so proud to have with us Mr. Steve Corey. Our director's favorite restaurant is 555, your restaurant in Portland, Maine. We're going to do a dish today, which I did the last time that our director was in. The dish is eggs in a nest. There's a whimsical name to it, uh, as there are many uh, menu items at the restaurant. Uh, we're going to farm fresh eggs that we picked up at the market yesterday. Yes. And then caviar, American sturgeon caviar, beautiful product that's uh, being farm raised. We will begin with this monster, wow. which is uh, celery root. Celery root. Uh, you see it at the market. A lot of people will attempt to go at it with this, which yes. is, is just kind of a Laborious. nightmare. So you're going to treat it like you would a melon, per se. Okay. And take the top off of it. So that's actually considered the top? Uh, that is. That was All the right. stalk end. Okay. So the celery would come out of this end. This would be below the ground. So. Good. The bulb. The bulb. Okay. Yes. And it is just the root of, of celery. And then just kind of peel it around. Oh, much easier much than going easier. about Serrated it with a knife. peeler. We're going to make a puree out of it today, which will act as a sauce. It's, it's a beautiful uh, sauce for, for fish. It for, mm -hmm. goes very well with beef as well. It has an earthy flavor that's subtly but reminiscent of celery. Celery. Yeah, yes. I, certainly... I, the aroma is, is, is wafting up, up to me now. I can smell it. It's very, very nice. And you don't need to boil it beforehand? Or anything? Uh, I'm going to simmer it okay. in fresh cream, heavy cream. Sure. We're just going to cover this. And that's just he heavy cream? Yep. Good. Just fresh cream. It will simmer for 25, 30 minutes until it's tender. We're looking for fork tenderness, like yep. a potato? Yeah, simmer. exactly. Okay. So this, this is the finished product, product right here. Yeah. Very nice. And, and now does this require any seasoning? beautiful, rich, velvety. It does. We'll taste this and season it uh, just with salt. Okay. We're going to turn this yes. into that. This ah, will be the, our nest. This is our nest. So to speak. It's strictly Yukon gold potato, mm -hmm. which we just peel. Okay. So this is a rotary slicer. It's a Japanese vegetable machine. Wonderful. Um, which will make nice work out of this. So you just basically slop that onto there. Rotary slicer. Very. Jam it on and. Sort of like a, a, a mandolin in its slicing, but, but definitely a different procedure. Yeah, uh, same, same idea. There's a little tube there. Oh, and here there. we go. Yeah. Look at these, and look how beautifully they come out. Just apply a little do bit of pressure here. Do you use this here. for other things besides this particular dish? We we'll, we do. Just garnishes even, mostly. You can even make beautiful uh, zucchini ribbons, yeah, right? Beets go through here very nicely. Add some real nice color to a dish. Um, basically anything. So, and there you have it. This then is just fried in vegetable oil, and uh, until it's crispy and. And they're like that. So now what do we do with our beautiful eggs? So these eggs, um, when they had the shell on them, we just left them out for about 30 minutes at room temperature okay. uh, to temper them. Then they went into just gently boiling water for five minutes. Exactly. So five. It's important to egg. keep to five minutes. Well, the size is going to determine how long they're going to cook for. I see. The intention is to set the white and leave the yolk right. runny. We're not looking for hard-boiled eggs. Not That's very hard important. Eggs. Okay. Soft, soft-boiled egg. Take them out of the boiling water after five minutes. Plunge them in ice water, and then peel them, and then you get to this stage, which you can see is kind of yes. wobbly and, and kind of wobbly, soft. And then we're just going to drop them in here to warm them through, and we're just going to put a pool of this down here. I can't wait to taste that. Nice and velvety. So there you can see. Oh yes, beautiful. here we go. This is what we're looking for: yeah. the consistency. That's it. It's the. The yolk has just started to set. Yes. The rest of it is runny, and the white is completely completely cooked. Yeah, which is very important. And five minutes does it. Here is the caviar. Ah, as I said, it's just yes. Amer American sturgeon, um, and then just a little bit of truffle oil, which is just okay. Mmm, it drops it. Mmm, that's wonderful. Just a beautifully executed dish. Thank you. Steve Corey, it's been such a pleasure to have you on the show well, today celebrating to fine living in Maine. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.